Happy fall air on the way. <laughs> I have a question though. Do you have any fuzzy type of slippers to wear here to the studio? I do. <laughs> just I do. This, this those secret. are those are not my fuzzies. Those are my good slippers. You're gonna need them because those are my good slippers. <laughs> the good slippers <laughs> under the desk. Uh, you know, Sunday what morning. What else you got down? <laughs> right. Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole lot happening. Yeah, but you might need to dig through your closet as well because mm -hmm. we haven't had to have uh, sweatshirts on in quite some time, right? Yeah, Wait, I've gotta go to the storage. Get my clothes out. The whole storage unit? <laughs> yeah. All I right. do it by seasons. Heard. And you know what? The seasons have been all over the place. First time uh, you got too fall. much clothes. Uh, yeah, probably right. <laughs> Let's take a look what's going to go on for us the next couple of days. And we're going to be seeing 85 for tomorrow. So you might need to dress in layers. So it's not a bad idea that sometimes you have to dress for the seasons because sometimes we get all in one day. We're going to see temperatures in the 60s tomorrow morning. Cool to start. The great in the afternoon, 85 degrees. But on Saturday, look at that cool down that's on the way. Another cold front moving through. And morning temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s. So finally, some fall air. For the weekend, uh, the first alert radar is in the most sensitive mode. We are dry tonight as we're seeing that dry air move its way on in. You can't see the radar estimated rainfall over the last 24 hours shows how those storms were continuing to move their way down to the southeast, but in some spots, five inches of rain. And we saw a lot of that in just a short amount of time. So it's going to help us out with the drought. What's interesting with the drought monitor, it is all the data is compiled on Tuesday, then the graphics put together and released on Thursday. So we will see some improvement with this, but we use a whole whole lot more rain on the way, so it's not taking uh, into last night's rain uh, really into account with the drought monitor. We're dry right now, 74 degrees, clear skies, a northerly wind at 7. It's feeling great as you step outside. We are in the 60s right now in Sherman to 69 in Greenville, 67 in Bridgeport to 68 in Graham. Want to point out, though, we have temperatures here in the mid-70s, and all the temperatures are popping up, but up in Canada, uh, the reason I'm showing this to you, uh, near Alberta, we're seeing temperatures in the 30s now. This cold Canadian air is on the way to North Texas. It's going to moderate by the time it gets down here, but uh, that is that cold air that's on the way with this next cold for that will move through. So tomorrow, a lot of sunshine. Might see some clouds late in the day, overnight in the morning hours. This front moves through. Some cloud cover to start out your day on Saturday, but then we're going to be seeing lots of sunshine. But on Sunday, the surface flow turns southerly and we start to warm it back up. So uh, overnight tonight, our temperatures that are sitting uh, will dip their way down into the 60s to the 50s for tomorrow morning, mid 80s. But look, by the time we go into Saturday morning, low 50s, our northeast counties possibly into the upper 40s, even colder than going into Sunday morning. So the first alert seven day forecast shows we will see 86 degrees back on Monday. So 71 Saturday, 80 Sunday, Monday 86. And then, yep, we're back up to near 90 by Wednesday. So enjoy this weekend. You're watching us here on CBS News Texas. We'll be right back.